G'day ZKD here with another Blade and Soul guide. In this video I'm going to be sharing some of my tips and experiences for playing with high ping in Blade and Soul. This video is part of a paid promotion, there's more information in the description below the video. Playing from Australia I'm pretty used to playing games with high ping. Most US servers give me around 200 to 300 milliseconds which can be pretty horrendous. Hearing how ping dependent Blade and Soul is, I was worried that I wouldn't be able to play it at all on my connection, but I was able to actually have a pretty damn good time on some of the classes, even in PvP. And that sort of segues us into the first tip of this video, class choice, because class choice is going to be one of the most important decisions you make as a high ping player in Blade and Soul. So let's talk which classes are playable and enjoyable on what pings. This is mostly going to be talking about PvP. Most of the classes I think can be played fine in all but the hardest PvE content, even on fairly high pings of 300 and up. But fine timings and latency dependent skills are a much larger factor in PvP. The good news for PvE players is that the netcode on enemy telegraphed AoE skills that you need to avoid seems to be really reliable to evade, even with over 200 milliseconds ping. Some people have been spreading the idea that it's impossible to play PvP in this game with more than 100 milliseconds ping, or that you won't be able to be competitive. However, there's pretty good evidence to the contrary of that, because there were quite a few competitive players playing on the Korean servers, playing PvP with pings just like 150-200. However, you do have to select your class appropriately given your connection. The following are each of the classes and my thoughts on their maximum effective ping limits. So up first we have Kung Fu Master, and I would not go higher than 50 milliseconds if you're serious about playing Kung Fu Master, especially in PvP. This class is incredibly reliant on combos and fraction of a second timings, and landing a lot of the counters and skills you need are actually going to be more luck than anything else at higher pings. Animation cancelling is also very difficult to time with higher pings on Kung Fu Master, so this is not a class for players with high ping. Assassin is pretty similar to Kung Fu Master and is almost as ping dependent. Assassin has some very small target area melee skills and combos that are your primary DPS. I had played a fair bit with Assassin and trying to land these skills on a moving player with higher pings is nearly impossible. I played an Assassin with 200 milliseconds and so long as an opponent just ran around randomly, I couldn't really land any hits while stealthed. Animation cancelling on Assassins is also very difficult with higher pings. As such, I don't really recommend playing Assassin with anything more than 75 milliseconds. For Blademaster, I wouldn't really recommend higher than 100 milliseconds. They have a fair reliance on precise timings for optimal blocking and for taking advantages in openings in your opponent's playstyle. Playing Blademaster in PvP with 200 milliseconds ping was an absolute nightmare for me. It seems players have done okay up to around 150 milliseconds, but much more than 100 milliseconds, I would be considering another class. Forcemaster seems to be a popular choice for higher pings, and they seem to do okay up to 150 milliseconds. However, a few of their important skills are aimed shots, and when your opponent is never exactly where you aim, these skills can be hard to land. I didn't have a really good time playing Forcemaster on 200 milliseconds, but less than 150 milliseconds should be doable. Blade Dancer I'd recommend for less than 175 milliseconds. I played a large amount of Blade Dance on around 190 milliseconds ping, and it was slightly too high for some small aspects of the class. A lot of your DPS is done through pretty easy animation cancelling burst damage combos that can be pulled off just fine at higher pings. Parrying, however, became more about predictions rather than reactions for many faster attacks, but it was definitely playable. With less than 175 milliseconds, Blade Dancer is going to be fine. Destroyer is good pretty much all the way up to 200 milliseconds. Some people would disagree on this one, I think, but I had a great time playing Destroyer with about 190 to 200 milliseconds ping. Don't listen to people that say you can't animation cancel either with high ping on Destroyer. It actually can be done, it just takes some practice. Your animation canceled attacks won't be quite as fast with, as people with lower pings though, but it still works enough to take players from 100 to 0 in one combo, and that's pretty much all you actually need. It's probably helped a bit by Destroyer being particularly strong in the current patch. However, if you do have really high ping and you want the safest bet, it is going to be Summoner. Summoner is the ultimate choice for people with atrociously high pings, and I think you can play a Summoner decently all the way up to 300 milliseconds. You're not really going to be able to play any class in PvP over 300 milliseconds, but up to that point, Summoner is going to do fine. There's not really any animation cancelling that you need to worry about, and many skills are dots or large AoEs, and your pet does a lot of the work for you, so it's a pretty easy time on higher pings. Now, before you choose your class, however, there is something that is worth looking into to see if you can't first improve your ping with ping reduction services. Honestly, I was pretty skeptical about these sorts of services as they tend to have pretty bad marketing, and I figured they were at best not effective or at worst actual scams or viruses. 
However, I did some more research into it, asked some of my viewers, and with some actual testing myself, I did learn, however, that some ping reduction service can actually make a pretty big difference for some players. In fact, for me, I was able to bring my ping down to 190 milliseconds, down from nearly 300 milliseconds playing from Australia. This made the game immensely more enjoyable for me. So what are these ping reduction services? I'm not an expert, so in my non-expert understanding, these are simply a service that reroutes your connection in a different way than what your ISP does, basically the connection between you and the game server. Most ISPs, especially Aussie ones it seems, don't tend to optimize their routing for gaming, or they just happen to go through another country because it's cheaper or more efficient for a majority of their users or whatever. Whatever the reason, sometimes you won't be taking the most efficient path to the game server you're playing on. I tested Blade & Soul with What The Fast. They have a free version you can use to test if it makes a difference for you. So I recommend if you're playing with a high ping that you simply do a test and see if you have any improvement. No, I don't have a sponsorship or affiliate with What The Fast. It's just the service that I happened to test that worked for me. Do some research on your options and see what works for you. The final tip I want to give you guys, my fellow high ping players, is a strategy or mindset that you should embrace as a high ping player. Taking this on helped me a lot in PvP to become a better player overall and to overcome the disadvantage of high ping somewhat. The fact of the matter is that with a high ping, you will have a disadvantage against some players who have a lower ping than you, and you will struggle with some timing reactions. But, unless you are already one of the top two players in the world at Blade & Soul, you can always get better than your opponents regardless of your ping. Embrace the handicap, and instead of reacting to your opponent's moves, start learning the skill sets and combos of other classes you face. Start learning to predict what they'll be doing before they actually do it. It's possible to land a half second parry on an enemy attack if you predict that's what they'll be doing, and understanding in the enemy class you'll find that people can be pretty predictable at times. And if you're actually anticipating your enemy moves, at that point your ping barely even matters. So guys, I hope this helps. If you guys have any suggestions or things that you did that helped your higher ping play, then please leave them in the comments below. That's it for now, I'm Ziggy D, and thanks for watching.